you hang. Get in, boys! Welcome to Series Pulse, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best movies directed by Quentin Tarantino that you should watch. Before we get on with the video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss more fun videos like this one. One of them fellas is not what he says he is. Number 10, Death Proof 2007. Death Proof is a 2007 American action thriller film starring Kurt Russell. The movie was initially presented in theaters as a double feature with Robert Rodriguez's Planet Terror called Grindhouse. Stuntman Mike is a body double who enjoys taking innocent women on dangerous drives in his spare time. Mike intentionally creates accidents and when he does so, the victims pile up while he escapes with barely a scratch. He's modified his automobile for maximum impact. When he targets a strong group of female friends, which include real-life stuntwoman Zoe Bell, the psychotic Mike could be in over his head. If anyone comes to the door, I want you to shoot them. Love his dad. Hello, baby. Especially if it's your dad. Number 9. Jackie Brown, 1997. You want to see some motherfucking silly? If I have to tell you to shut up one more time, I'm going to shut you up. I just came over here to talk to you. Jackie Brown is a 1997 American crime film based on the 1992 novel Rum Punch by Elmore Leonard and starring Pam Greer in the title role. Agent Ray Nicolette and Detective Mark Dargis seek flight attendant Jackie Brown's cooperation to bring down her boss, weapons dealer Ordell Robbie, when she's caught smuggling cash for Robbie. Brown must choose between staying silent and face jail time or risking death if she cooperates. So she chooses to deceive both sides and steal the money rather than risk either. She also enlists the aid of her beloved bondsman, Max Cherry. Let me tell you the reason, motherfucker. The reason is your ass ain't worth the shit well, no you, more. You better fucking back off, man. Number eight, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, 2019. All the shooting. <laughs> I love that stuff, you know, the killing. A lot of once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a 2019 American comedy drama film featuring a large ensemble cast led by Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, and Margot Robbie. The 1950s television western that actor Rick Dalton starred in brought him fame and money, but he's now having difficulty locating meaningful work in a Hollywood that he no longer recognizes. With his laid-back friend and frequent stunt double Cliff Booth, he spends most of his time drinking and fooling around. Rick also happens to be neighbors with Roman Polanski and Sharon Tate, the aspiring actress and the director whose futures were forever changed by the Manson family. George isn't blind! You're the blind one! Number 7, The Hateful Eight, 2015. He not only killed my partner, he tried to steal my damn horse. Put them on. Oh, I, I ain't wearing no handcuffs. You put those on or you can stop. The Hateful Eight is a 2015 American Western mystery thriller film. It stars Samuel L. Jackson, Kurt Russell, Jennifer Jason Leigh, Walton Goggins, Damian Bashir, Tim Roth, Michael Madsen, and Bruce Dern. Bounty hunter John the Hangman Ruth and his prisoner are running toward the town of Red Rock in post-Civil War Wyoming when they come upon another bounty hunter and a man claiming to be the sheriff. The company heads to a stagecoach stopover situated on a mountain pass in search of refuge from a blizzard. The eight passengers are met there by four strangers and they quickly discover that they might not make it to their goal after all. They call him the hangman. When the hand... Number 6, Kill Bill Volume 2, 2004. If I may doesn't kill you, he will make you stronger. <laughs> Kill Bill Vol. 2 is a 2004 American neo-western martial arts film starring Uma Thurman as The Bride. The Bride continues where she left off in Vol. 1 with her mission to eliminate everyone on her hit list, including her ex-boyfriend Bill, who attempted to have her assassinated during her wedding to another man four years prior. She ultimately locates Bill in Mexico after leaving a trail of dead people in her wake. She seeks to complete the task she originally set out to do by using the talent she has acquired over her career as an assassin. 
she must suffer to her last breath. Number 5. Kill Bill Volume 1, 2003. My friends and I, we were the creme de la creme in an exclusive industry. And we all were. Kill Bill Volume 1 is the first of the two Kill Bill movies that were produced simultaneously. They were originally going to be released together, but Tarantino decided to break them into two movies to avoid having to remove scenes. Four years after her jealous ex-lover Bill attempted to kill her on her wedding day, a former assassin known only as The Bride awakens from a coma. She makes a promise to get revenge on everyone responsible for the death of her unborn child, her entire wedding, and four years of her life. The Bride embarks on her mission after creating a hit list, suffering unimaginable pain and treacherous foes. Oh, any more subordinates for me to kill? Hi! Hmm. Number 4. Inglorious Bastards, 2009. Ten hut! I'm putting together a special team. We're gonna be doing one thing and one thing only. Inglorious Bastards is a 2009 war film starring Brad Pitt, Christopher Waltz, Michael Fassbender, Eli Roth, Diane Kruger, Daniel Bruhl, Till Schweiger, and Melanie Lauren. It is the first year that Germany has occupied France. Jewish soldiers are assembled by Allied Commander Lieutenant Aldo Rain to carry out brutal acts of vengeance against the Nazis, including the removal of their scalps. To overthrow the Third Reich's leaders, he and his soldiers team up with German actress and undercover operative Bridget von Hammersmark. Their paths cross with theater owner Shosanna Dreyfus, who wants to get revenge on the Nazis for killing her family. Blow up the basket. Number 3. Reservoir Dogs, 1992 What happens if the manager won't give you the diamonds? Cut off one of his fingers. The little one. <laughs> Reservoir Dogs is a 1992 American crime film starring Harvey Keitel, Tim Roth, Chris Penn, Steve Buscemi, Lawrence Tierney, Michael Madsen, Quentin Tarantino, and Edward Bunker. Several Tarantino trademarks, including violent crime, pop culture references, profanity, and non-linear storytelling are present in this film. Six crooks with fake identities and who are strangers to one another are recruited to commit a heist. Police ambush the theft, forcing the group to shoot their way out. Realizing they were set up, the survivors search for the traitor among them during their rendezvous at the warehouse. Number 2. Django Unchained, 2012 Cold evening, gentlemen. Amongst your inventory, I've been led to believe is a specimen I'm keen to acquire. Django Unchained is a 2012 American revolutionist western film, starring Jamie Foxx, Christoph Waltz, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kerry Washington, and Samuel L. Jackson. A slave named Django finds himself traveling with an eccentric German bounty hunter named Dr. King Schultz, two years before the American Civil War, on a quest to capture the violent Brittle Brothers. Following the success of their mission, Schultz releases Django and the two of them travel in search of the most wanted criminals in the South. They eventually arrive at the notorious Calvin Candy estate, where Django's long-lost wife is still a slave. I don't know who took that means we visit every plantation until we find them. Once... Number 1. Pulp Fiction, 1994 This is a moral test of oneself. I do believe Marcellus, my husband, your boss, told you to take me. Pulp Fiction is a 1994 American crime film starring John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, Bruce Willis, Tim Roth, Bing Rames, and Uma Thurman. The title refers to the pulp magazines and wisecracking crime novels that were popular in the mid-20th century and were characterized by their graphic violence and quick wit. Hitmen Vincent Vega and Jules Winfield enjoy philosophical debates. Their tale is intertwined in this ultra-hip multi-strand crime film with that of their boss, mobster Marcellus Wallace, his actress wife Mia, failing boxer Butch Coolidge, master fixer Winston Wolfe, and a nervy pair of armed robbers, Pumpkin and Honey Bunny. Sounds good to me. And with that, we've reached the end of this video all about the top 10 Quentin Tarantino movies that you must watch. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this.